What's going on guys, your boy Joe with Shake Simmons. You're coming to you guys with a video right now. So I'm using a new phone, so hopefully the, I don't know, the quality is 10 times better. Um, so yeah, definitely needed that. Um, so I want to go over some things about Nick Foles, about what's going on with him. And, uh, you know, apparently kind of knowing that the Buffalo Bills tried to offer a second round pick for Nick Foles. Uh, coming into all of this, um, the problem is just that you could take last year, for example, because the Eagles want more than a first round and a fourth round, just like the in the Sam Bradford trade. So that's what they want. Um, the problem is, is that eight days before, the, 11 days before the season last year, Teddy Bridgewater got hurt. Eight days before the season last year, Carson Wentz became the starter and Sam Bradford was in Minnesota. So eight days before the season last year, Bradford, it's eight days before the season, Bradford became very valuable at that point. And the Vikings were a desperate team, and they grabbed him. There's a difference in this year because we're not even close to even training camp. And they're, the more options that teams have on quarterbacks, the less value that Nick Foles is going to have. And because of he's played, what, five, six games I don't think I don't think any of them are going to be paying high for him. I think that we're just going to keep him because I know we're not just going to release him because if we release him someone's going to fucking get him. Um but teams don't want to give up more than a second round pick and Howie Roseman wants more than a first and a fourth. So if he pulls this off, I'll be very surprised, but if he doesn't pull it off, um I'm just going to say keep his ass Keep him on this damn team because you need a backup quarterback. Nate Suffield, I think they're high praise on with him. But at the same time, they're being cautious and need to see him play more because he's only played one fucking NFL game so far. Um, but this whole thing about Nick Foles and everything is just kind of crazy. And I keep looking for news. Keep looking for new things to you know, kind of see if anything new pops up. And there, nothing ever does because I think the Buffalo Bills offer a second-round pick. Eagles pretty much hung up the phone and said, <laughs> <laughs> you know so that's what happened with that um so it is what it is um if you don't get anything that the if the eagles don't get what they really want they're not going to give him up i think most likely he will be kept on this team and for the five million i know it's like oh it's five million because we're so desperate because we'll just get rid of anybody at this point because we're going to be ten and a half million over the goddamn cap once the new league year starts um you know, that's that's really where it, it's all going to count. Um, I, and if, you know, I'm, I don't want to give him up for one second round pick. It's not happening. I don't care if we don't have a second round pick or we don't have a third round pick. We're not giving him up for that. I want them to get the highest quality that they can get. Because um, it's amazing how, like, Garoppolo can play five fucking games and get a big deal. And Nick Foles can play, a, you know, five, six games and, and become a free agent and... Um, not become a free agent, but get traded, and there's no value in him at all. I mean, the guy just won a Super Bowl, but they think he's a... The problem is everyone thinks Nick Foles is a damn flash in the damn pan, and that's just what it is because, like, he was here. He brought the Eagles to the playoffs. He got hurt the next year, and Chip Kelly traded his ass, and Harry Rosen brought him back a few years later between L.A. going to fucking St. Louis at the time and going to fucking Kansas City. It's been a damn mess. Um, but if you don't get what you want for Nick Foles, fucking keep him. Do not, do not trade him, which I know they're not going to. They're not going to trade him for like, oh, fuck it. Let's just get rid of him. We just, we, we have no choice now. Ah, no, 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 no. You keep him on the team because it's going to be the best, the, the best, it's going to be the best money you've ever invested. And that 5 million is greatly invested. And, uh, you know, reading reports that Carson Wentz might be back week one. So, I don't know, but it's good to have an insurance policy with Nick Foles. Um, anything happens, you can depend on Nick. And the whole offense is the whole offense changes at that point. So, what I think about all this, I think they got to get as much as they fucking can for Nick Foles. And if they don't, they got to keep him, unfortunately. So, that's really all I got to say, guys. That's all I really got to say. So, stay tuned because we only got like a week left. A week and a few days, whatever the fuck it is. So that's about it. So that's all I got to say, guys. Shake squad up. Fly Eagles fly. Peace.